What's going on guys? Welcome to another shed video. So the world's gone crazy, still. Covid-19 still took over. No one can go out fishing. I haven't seen Tom in two weeks. It's been bloody fantastic. A lot of you have been asking about our heavy pike setup, so today I'm going to go through the full detail of our entire pike setup, not just the rod and reel. I'm going to show you our bag setup, what goes in the bag, the magnets, the nets, the pliers, everything. So, if you don't want to see what it's all about, now's a good time to like the video. You know what I mean? The best rods me and Tom have got our hands on so far are these Abu Garcia Ike rod range and they are truly something else. They're a bit more expensive than the lower range rods but they are so worth it. You can feel the difference in them. They have a Powerlux carbon fibre resin um, which is lighter stuff but it's strong stuff so not so much fatigue on the on the arm when you're casting all day, all day. Um, it's made in conjunction with Mike Iconelli, who won the Bassmaster Classic back in 2003. So he must know what he's doing. So good. It is 45 grams to 140 grams. That is the casting weight. Although, me and Tom are through less on it so we have threw 20 gram laws out on this and you can still feel the action in the rod you can chuck over 100 grams out on it and it's stiff enough to still play and be able to feel the law this is the six foot six inch version 45 to 140 gram casting weight loads of boring information for you there this is the reel it is the Abu Garcia Revo Ike reel. It's got a carbon matrix drag system. It comes in two ratios. If you don't understand the ratios, I'll explain that to you in a second. And it is just superb. I've always tried to find these little, you know, rubber grips for the handles. I've never been able to find them to add them onto my reel, but the Ike comes with it. It looks so good. And that's just for comfort. Comes with a, it's got a loop port, it's easy to open. You can open it up, there's a little store that opens up. Kadoosh. And you can see all inside in there. Lube it up, maintain it. It is my favorite reel by far. For those of you that don't understand the ratios on reels, I'm gonna explain it to you now and you're gonna get it straight away. 6.61 which means for every one reel it reels in 6.6 .6. now this rod comes in a 6.6 .6 and an 8.0 my reel reels in 6.61 the other reel reels in at 8.0 colon 1 this number represents the amount of reeling done. So every one turn, it reels in 6.6, .6, which works out to about 69 centimeters. The 8.0 colon one, for every one reel, it reels in 8.0, which works out to 84 centimeters. There you go. So this one reels in more line than this one. Right then, what braid are we using? We are using 40 pound braid, which in Europe is 27 kilograms. Why are we using 40 pound braid? Because we fish crap canals where we pull trolleys out of and all that kind of crap. Could you go less? Probably, but we probably end up snapping off a little bit and this braid never fails us them trebles on them laws will bend before this line snaps. I've also got some questions from you guys that I reached out, uh, me and Tom reached out on Instagram. Picked out a few. Let's go. ADB Fishing says, what starter reels and rod setups would you go for? Me and Tom both went for the Abu Garcia Black Max combo. Great value for money. I think it was about 70 quid for a bait caster, 
and a rod. It was brilliant. Got abused for about two years. Pretty much fell apart. But it's great starting reel and rod. Go for that. They do a silver max now, that's even better. Try that one. Fishing with Ash asks, dream fishing trip? That's a tough one. There's a few. South, um, uh, South America for sharks. The Nile for Nile perch. Oh. Man. The Amazon. Arapaima. There's too many. It's too many dream fishing trips. What's your dream fishing trip? Put your dream fishing trip in the comment below. Favourite species to catch. I think that goes without saying. Pike. Definitely pike. Just too excited. Makes me <laughs> my pants. Fanta Fishing asks, who would win in an arm wrestle at a Tom and Sean? Well, the pussy's not here, is he? Well, that's answered that one, isn't it? Favourite food, Louis Malin asks, favourite food to eat while fishing? Subway for me. The Pikin Irish asks, who would you like to share a lake boat with for the day? Could be anybody. Maybe Jim Carrey, Robin Williams, Robin Williams. Who would win in a fight between Carl and Alex or Snagbra? Respect for Terps, ask that. Guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> Vendetta fishing us. Do the man then be violating or isolating? Bro, I'm in my bloody shed. I'm isolating. All right. So, o Atkinson asks, when do we both start fishing? Oh, uh, my dad took me fishing when I was a kid. Taught me back then. Had some great times fishing back then. And then when me and Tom became teenagers, we went and started doing a bit of fishing of our own. I had a little bit of knowledge. Tom had zero knowledge. Now you have to put, tie the hook for him and everything. There you go. There you go. Put it in it. Yeah, just there. Yeah, that's it. Watch, watch, watch your float. Watch. Watch what you're doing. There's some questions with Snagbro. If you have any more questions, why don't you head on over to at Sean Snagbro. Ask me some questions or ask Tom some questions. I'm not going to say his Insta out loud. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. Before we go any further, guys, before you all have a Benny Boo at me, right? I know everybody's asking about how we make the wire traces. I'm not going to bore you with it now. But what I will do is, I will do a video of me making a wire trace and I'll put it on the YouTube, you know what I mean? So you can watch it and you stop asking questions about it then. All right. You know what I mean? I love a t-shirt, by the way. All this for you guys, you know. All this for you. The falc. You know what I mean? Let's talk about laws. What do we use on the heavy setups? First up, the Abu Garcia McPikes. Coming 49 gram, mate, in centimetres. 70 gram, 21 centimetres. And 106 gram, 25 centimetres. I don't know if you've watched any of our recent actual fishing videos, but me and Tom have been doing really well. Okay. Tom has been doing really well on these beast laws, uh, especially the twin tail ones. These beast laws, we've got them all set out here because they're so damn good that we just want them out all the time. They come in three different effects. You have curl tail, paddle tail, twin tail ones. They come in 17 centimeters and 21 centimeters. In all kinds of goddamn colours. You got red head, you got blue herring, you got Fegus, that one there, that's 
figures. Here's a cool fact for you guys. In testing, when I were testing the curl tail, uh, this kept producing a big amount of big pike on the drop in deep water. So as soon as it was hitting the water and it was on its way down the first time, a load of big pike were taking it apparently in testing. Those well. Some of our other favourite lures to use are these Berkeley power baits. Um, I think these are the hollow bellies. Awesome for putting on a snap jig. As you can see, they sit on there pretty damn well. Right guys, this is a no-nonsense heavy pike setup. Lure box goes in there. And hooking tools down the side. Weighing sling. And scales. Fluorocarbon wire trace equipment. Scissors, crimps. And hooking mat. Get in there. Get in there. And the magnet, everybody asks us about the magnet, guys. All it is, is that. Robert, your uncle. And that, you are ready to go pike fishing. So that is all you need, guys. All you need is that few stuff. You don't need to overcomplicate it with any fancy stuff. It's very light, it's easy, it's mobile. I think the only extra thing you'll need, to be honest, is a bottle of water. We've got Tom. All right, mate. How you doing? Doing a video without me, are you? Yeah, man, doing some filming. Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. Listen, I don't care about that. Wait there. Have you liked the video yet? Wait there. Yeah, right now. Stop being so boring and show me that haircut. What's going on with that haircut? Who? I had a pandemic fade. You had a pandemic fade? Yeah. I don't know what's worse, that haircut or the man you top in the background. Poor connection. Mate, your fade has poor connection, the connection. <laughs> Alright, cool, man. I'll see you a bit. Yeah, sound bore off. Seen a bit. Bye, bye, bye. What a boring geezer. Jesus Christ. What's he want now? Don't forget to tell them to subscribe as well. Subscribe to the channel right now. You bum. Boring geezer, man. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you think I've missed anything out, or if there's anything else you'd like to see, anything to do with our heavy setup, then comment below. Don't forget, we're gonna show you them wire trace uh, explanation thingy, my Bobby, in another video. Hold on tight for the wire trace tutorial video, and that's your lot for this episode of Snag bro shed life. Like and subscribe. Get on that, bro. It's nice, nice. Easy, easy, easy.